Hi, my name is Sarah Bashara. I am a 20 year old junior at the University of Florida. I'm majoring in public health and I'm very excited about this opportunity. So just thank you so much for listening. So if I was given a situation like the one with John, the first thing I'd do is establish two major lines of communication, one with John himself and then one with his teacher. Because I don't get to interact with the kids as much as your traditional classroom teacher, um, I'd first go to them just to see what they could tell me about the situation, what they're allowed to tell me, just to be informed um, and to get to know him a little bit better outside of the classroom. Um, and then I'd obviously go to John and try and communicate with him as well. Um, maybe after one of our Zoom sessions, I'd ask him to stay behind maybe just a few minutes to ask and see how he's doing because yes, I'm concerned about him getting to learn and getting um, more knowledge, but first I am concerned about him, so I just make sure he's okay. Um, a lot of times kids aren't asked that question because they're little, they don't know how to talk about their emotions, but they do actually, and they do need to talk about it. So I'd first go to him and just ask and make sure he's doing okay. And whatever he wants to tell me is what I take. I would not pry. I just genuinely want to make sure he's okay and see how he's doing. Um, and something I plan on doing, regardless of the situation with any kid, is I want to get to know them and get to know their likes and their interests and just everything about them to incorporate it in the lessons to make them a little bit more intrigued. So in this specific situation, what I do is really try and incorporate things that John um, likes and dislikes, or not what he dislikes, but just what he likes into the lessons to hopefully get him more excited and more like passionate about learning because oftentimes they just need a little push like that. Um, but something I would prioritize throughout this whole approach is not um, pushing him too hard or making him go out of his comfort zone when he doesn't want to especially because it seems like there is like a situation happening outside of the classroom that I may not know about. I don't want to push him and I get that sometimes um, encouraging kids to grow and pushing them to do their very best is important and of course I'd always do that. However, I don't want to push John to go out of his comfort zone when he doesn't want to because I really would just prioritize him um, being safe and being comfortable in a space with me and whether that's on Zoom or anything. So that is what I do in this situation. Thank you so much for listening and I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Bye.